once you have your granny triangle to the size you would like. Now we're going to add in our finishing details. So we will start with our pico edging. You will first need to chain one and turn your work. Now you will chain two. You want to skip that stitch that's closest to the hook. And to do a pico stitch, you will chain three. And then you will slip stitch into that first chain. And the slip stitch you yarn over and pull it all the way through both those loops. Then go ahead and single crochet in that chain space. And then do three single crochets over top of those three double crochets. And then another pico stitch. So three chains. Insert your hook in that first chain and yarn over and pull it through the stitch and the loop on your hook and single crochet in your chain space and three single crochets in each of those double crochets and just go ahead and repeat that pattern And just repeat, and I'll meet you at the top corner. Yeah, on this top corner, it's just a little bit different. So in this chain space, you're going to single crochet first into the chain space. And then do your pico stitch. And single crochet again into that chain space. And then three single crochets in that next group of double crochets. And then go ahead and continue your pico stitch three single crochet pattern all the way to the end. Here we are with our edging completed. So now we have to make our ties. So to do that, here, I'll zoom in for you. You want to single, I mean chain 46 chains. And now we are going to be slip stitching into each of these chains. So you'll want to skip this first one and go into that second chain from the hook. I'm just going to insert your hook, pull through everything. Insert your hook, pull through the stitch, pull through your loop. So just continue slip stitching in each of those chains. And now we will need to work across the edge of our triangle right here. So we're going to be working into the sides of these double crochets. The pattern does not specify an exact amount of single crochets or where to insert your hook. I do roughly about two single crochets into the side of each double crochet. That should get a pretty even uh, feel your top of your bandana. You don't want it to bunch or create a weird edge. So you might need some practice, but just single crochet as it feels right across the top of this triangle. And then once we might make it back to the corner, we have to make our last tie. So again, you're going to chain 46. And 
and then you will slip stitch in each chain back to your work. Okay, and once our tie is done, we want to just make sure we have that nice and secure on the corner. So I might add an extra slip stitch in there. Go ahead and cut your yarn. And then secure off that tail. Just yarn over, pull it through your loop, all the way through your loop. And then tighten it. Okay, and all that is left is to weave in your ends. Go ahead and use your needle and we're just going to push that tail end of the yarn back and forth to about an inch of your work just to secure that nicely. And then trim off that excess yarn. Give your piece a little tug to make sure that's in there well. And then we have our starting tail that we need to weave in as well. So go ahead and repeat that same process. And there you have it. Here is the completed bandana. Zoom out so you can see it. So we got your tails, that nice fancy detail work, and we are finished.